resurface in this bath. Right, well, today's video, we're gonna be showing you step by step how to resurface the enamel coating on this bath, but also we're gonna do a little bit of renovating to it. We're gonna give the outside of the bath a coating of paint as well. We're gonna renovate the feet that come with it. Um, it's all gonna be step by step. You're gonna see us go through the process. We'll be using this tubby kit, which is the proven DIY bath resurfacing kit for the enamel work on the inside of the bath. We picked up this bath. We went to collect this um, last week. We were lucky to have some help to collect it because this was still upstairs in the bathroom when we got it. But we managed to get it downstairs, the three of us. Um, we're going to do a demonstration of how these tubby kits work for the inside of the bath, but we're also going to renovate this bath. We're going to give it a, a nice modern look. We're going to paint the outside. We're going to repaint the feet as well and update these taps to get this ready to go into a bathroom. Um, there's a few chips that we're going to have to look at and fill before we carry on doing any more work to the inside of this. We're going to have to figure out which way around to do it because we want it fully painted on the outside and painted on the bottom as well. I think we'll start by just prepping the inside, sanding it, getting rid of all this shine, cleaning it up and filling these little holes. Okay, so we picked up this bath for £50. We picked up this resurfacing kit for about £70. We've looked online to get a price for if we were to get this uh, professionally recoated, and the price is about 600 so we're looking to get this done for about a tenth of the cost of that. So we're going to have a look inside this kit, we'll show you what's in there. So let's have a look what's inside our tubby kit. So we've got our instruction leaflet telling us how to use it all. We've got our safety gloves and mask as well, that's important to have that when you're sanding the bath down. We've got the two part system for the for the coating. We've got a brush for the hard to reach areas. What else have we got? We've also got a mini roller handle and the rollers for applying. And we've got here as well a cleaning powder, which is one of the most one more important parts of this job. We've got some bags as well for disposing of all the little bits. The roller tray. We've got a little mixing stick. Another little scouring pad to help clean up because it's really important that we get the, the existing shiny coating off of the bath or else this stuff won't stick. Also got this paper in there as well. This is 120 grit. Perfect for getting that shine off. And some masking tape if you need to tape up around the taps and the waste. Okay, so because we're not just resurfacing the interior of this bathtub, we're also going to be renovating the whole tub, the outside and the feet. It's, we're also going to renovate these taps. So we're going to take these off first and that'll also help us. And we're going to take this overflow off and that'll help us get in there and sand all this shiny enamel off. So first thing we do is get these taps off. I'm just going to grab all of, the, of this back nut and that's as simple as that. As per the instructions, the first thing we have to do is rub this down, get all this shiny finish off there. We're going to put the mask on that's provided in the kit and just get going. Okay, so we're just using this light we've got here. Of course, you could just use your iPhone. We're just looking for any shiny, reflective, shiny spots that we want to get rid of. Um, we want, so the top coat will adhere to this. It needs to be all uniform and matte all the way around. And I suggest that you stay nice and method methodical. <laughs> I suggest that you do this methodically as well. Stay in one, start in one bit and go around and make sure it's, you got it nice and finished before you move on to the next bit. Also now, just like to point out here that as we're going around and giving it this key, these 
little ding marks we've got are really starting to show up. So the way to uh, fix them is with a two-part um, filler, like a, a car body filler. Uh, I'm going to give this a sand all over, mix up a little bit to the right proportions. And I'm going to use a white filler as well. You can get different colours and we'll fill it up and then sand it over again with this same paper. Okay, so that's our sanding finished. Now we're going to use, mix up a little bit of this filler and use it just for filling these small holes. It'll take about five minutes to go off and then we'll give that a sand. And then what we're going to do then is flip the bath over, give this a little bit of a clean down and get this primed, ready for the top colour coat. So what we're using here is, is a two-part um, car body filler. What you need is a golf ball sized amount of filler to a pea sized amount of the hardener there. And we'll just mix that up. Okay, so now we're just going to we'll give this a bit of a clean. Somebody in the past has put this um, like a mottled effect or a sponge rag rolled effect paint on there. It's not dirt. We thought maybe it was dirt and mould but it's all nice and clean, ready for this primer coat that we're going to put on. It's going to probably want a couple of coats, so we'll get these on now. Um, and, and what we're using is this uh, Zinzit 123, which is a, it's a great product. It primes and seals, and it should cover up, well it will, it'll cover all the stains as well that are on there. Okay, so we've just got our first coat of primer on the bottom of the bath. That's going to get a couple of coats, but while that's drying, we'll just come over and we're going to address these feet. Okay, we're going to give these a bit of a rub down just to create a key for the primer to stick to. And we're just using this quick drying primer. Give this a couple of coats and we're going to have a metallic silver finish on top. Okay, so a little update now. We've got our two coats of primer and sealer on there. Um, the original coating that was on there was a little bit, there was a few runs, we've sanded them back and given it another coat over the top. And now we're ready for our top coat. And this is the colour that we've chosen to go on the outside of the bath. Uh, complemented that with the silver feet and then the white inside. So we'll get the first coat on this now. Yeah, let's just get on with that. Okay, so we've got the outside of the bath painted and we've got our feet on. We've flipped it around and now we're ready to give it a final sanding. We're going to get rid of these runs that we, we knew we'd get. We're going to sand them off in these little spots where we've put the filler in. And also, it says in the instructions to pay special attention around the taps and the plug hole. So we've actually used one of these small little flat discs as well, just to really clean around there to make sure that the finished product will stick to that. So we're going to give it another clean with this wet and dry paper. We've got a little bit of warm water in the bucket and we're going to go all over it again, give it a clean. The kit also comes with this cleaning powder, which you can use before you do the sanding. It helps get rid of all the um, oil residue and soaps. We're going to use that as well just before we give it a good clean and a dry before we put on our last coat. Okay, so now I'm just going to mix up this little pack of cleaning powder that, that comes with the kit. I'm just going to use a little bit of water just to get that into a paste and then we'll rub that all around with the cleaning sponge that it comes with. OK, 
Okay, so there we are. We've got our bath all cleaned and prepped, ready for our tubby coating. So we're gonna go over here and mix this up now. Okay, so the first step, as per the instructions, is to mix the hardener in with the coating, give it a really good mix with the stirrer provided, and then it directs you what to do on there. It says to paint the product around the plug hole and the tap holes first with a brush and then go over with the roller. Allow that to cure for a few hours and then using the second roller provide, give it another coat. So we're gonna start mixing this now. Now we're just gonna uh, just set a timer on there. We're gonna leave that to stand for five minutes. And while that's standing, we're just gonna put some masking tape around the bath and cover up the outside so we don't get any of this enamel coating onto the blue paint we've already got on there. So we've left this coating to stand for five minutes as per the instructions. And we've got the bath masked off. He says to pour a third of the contents into this tray that's provided with the kit and start painting it on. Right, so we've been around and put our first coat of the top coating on. It's gone on really easily, uh, like it suggests. We went around the outlets with the brush first and then went all over with the roller. And it used about just over a third of what was in the tin. We're gonna leave it a couple of hours to cure and then we're gonna put on our second coat. Um, I will point out to make sure when you're doing this, doing a well ventilated area. Fine for us when in this great big open space in the workshop, so it's okay for us. But when you're doing it at home, make sure to have the windows open and the door open. Um, also, a thing to bear in mind is that the temperature that you're working in is going to affect the setting time of this. So we're going to keep an eye on this and we'll probably come back in about an hour. It's quite warm today. And then we'll get our second coat on. The kit comes with another pair of gloves and another roller, and that's what we'll be using again to apply the second coat. Then we'll leave it to dry. See you in a bit. Okay, so we've put our first coat on. We've left it for just over an hour. It's quite warm in here. It's touch dry. So we're gonna use the rest of the coating that we've got mixed up and the clean roller and get that second coat on now. Okay, so there we are. We've got our second coat on there. Looks great, um, really simple to put on. Just remember to keep that roller going with the contours of the bath and any roller marks you get on there, you can just, as the paint starts to dry a bit, you can just take them out with the roller again. We're gonna unmask it and then you can see it in all its glory. Okay, so there we are, we've finished, we've got our second coat on. This tubby kit has been really easy to use. We have used these before, so we knew it'd be okay. Everything that you need is in this kit. It says to leave it 48 hours before putting your hardware back on, so that's what we're gonna do. If you've done this and left the taps in place, make sure they don't drip at any time during this um, curing period. After you've put your second coat on and it's still a little bit tacky and you notice you've got a few little dints or nicks in it, don't be too worried, you can still get a bit of filler, re-sand those when the filler's gone off and touch it up with any leftover product. Uh, really simple to use, um, it's available from all good DIYs, pick it up from eBay as well and from Amazon, 
If you do have any trade inquiries about this product, the company to contact is Centurion Europe Limited and we'll leave a link in the description below so you can contact them there. Definitely worth the price of this kit, especially on this cheap bath. This bath is only £50 for us. Um, getting a professional company to coat this will be 10 times the cost of this. So really happy with it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Don't forget to check out the channel. Loads of the videos on there. Time for a bath now. See you later.